So um, our first question comes from uh, Douglas in Newbury, who asks, um, does Theresa May's plan mean we'll still have freedom of movement? No. Theresa May's plan is very clear. In fact, it's probably the only thing about her plan which is really, really clear, because in some ways it's actually the only thing that she really seems to care about more than anything else. Um, so the... Uh, Part of her deal that was signed with the EU over the weekend was uh, um, uh, there's something called the political declaration on the future relationship between the EU and the UK. How we'll trade with the EU and what our relationship will look with the EU after Brexit. And this is a pretty vague document on a lot of things. There's a lot of things where it doesn't tell you what's going to happen. But on one thing it's very clear. It says the UK wants to end freedom of movement. So uh, um, that is one thing that at least if Theresa May stays in power, it's quite clear freedom of movement is going to come to an end. Not right away, I should say, because the, the deal does provide for this transition period during which nothing mm -hmm. changes, and that includes freedom of movement. So freedom of movement will stay until December 2020 under this deal, but um, again, if Theresa May has her way after that, that's it. Okay, cool. So that means that during the transition period, if the deal goes through, then freedom of movement will continue, but after yeah. that's over, freedom of movement will be... That's it. Okay. And um, to follow up and to zoom up a little bit, mm. uh, what exactly does freedom of movement mean? Well, there's a lot of confusion here because freedom <laughs> people, a lot of people think freedom of movement just means that you can come to this country. Mm -hmm. And actually, um, if you think about it, that really doesn't make any sense, right? Because when you come to this country, if you're British, you have to show your passport. If you're European, you have to show your passport. Actually, if you're American, you show your passport mm -hmm. and you get it stamped. Um, mm -hmm. And we can turn away Americans if we want to, mm -hmm. or people from other countries. Yeah. But in practice, from, for countries that we don't require visas from, we actually don't turn away Americans, except if they're on some sort of terrorism watch list or suspected mm -hmm. of, of criminal offences or something. So freedom of movement isn't really about crossing the borders. Freedom of movement is really about what you can do when you're here. And what, so what freedom of movement essentially means for people from the EU is that if you're here, we sort of treat you pretty much as if you're British. Not quite. There are some differences mm -hmm. to do with voting rights and, and mm -hmm. access to benefits and so on. But pretty much, if you're French or Polish, you can work here. Um, and to prove that you have the right to work, all you have to do is show your French or a Polish passport. Just as to prove that I have the right to work, all I have to do is show my British passport. Same right. is true for okay. renting a house or... Uh, um, or getting service in the NHS or so on, pretty much. Um, so that's what freedom of movement really means. It sort of means the right to be treated as a, almost like right. a national. Um, and that's not true of an American. So we may let an American or an Indian in through the borders, but they do not have the right to work unless they can prove that they have a work visa. Yeah. They do not necessarily have the right to rent an apartment. It depends. They don't have the right to access the NHS. They don't have any of those rights. So in future when freedom of movement ends, we'll be treating um, French people and Bulgarians mm -hmm. much more like we treat uh, uh, Americans, not for the purposes of coming into the country where it, you know, right. it, we still don't know quite what will happen, but it won't change very much, but for the purposes of, most importantly, the right to work, but also a bunch of other rights as well. And, of course, the same applies to Brits in Europe, Brits going to Europe. Right, so it's more about um, not necessarily like EU nationals, not being to, able to come and visit the, the UK, but more about what happens if they want to like live here, if they want to work here, and vice yeah. versa for Brits yeah. living exactly. in Europe, right? Exactly. Okay. Cool.